Hello everyone, how are you doing? It's Clara and I'm back with another Exit Game review. That's right, this time we've got the Curse Labyrinth from the Exit Games. Uh, so this is on the lighter end of the spectrum, it's a hardness of 2 out of 5. Uh, I've got to be honest, I'm gearing up because I've got the Exit uh, Advent Calendar to play this year and I'm really excited to sort of play that. But uh, yeah, I wanted to sort of catch up on some of the ones that I haven't played before. This is the Curse Labyrinth. What did I think of it? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you, like, pretty shortly, you know? All right, so I'm not going to go too long on this. This is going to be a fairly brief one. And whereas in other exit games, I've talked about the puzzles in this, um, I'm not going to I'm not going to break down the puzzles because, to be honest, I um, I don't really have a massive amount to say about the puzzles if I'm perfectly honest. So, does that mean that the puzzles were bad? No, it's um, it's really good fun. It's it's a light game. It's two out of five, so it's you know it is on the easier end of the spectrum, um, and it's another good fun one. I like the puzzle. You know, you're going through this labyrinth, and then you've got, to, um, yeah, and and there's certain things you know like it. it, it pulls together um as you go through the the mystery so the story is there and you, you know it all pulls together and i don't know I, I i really enjoy it um it was like i say fairly simple um i think sometimes with these simpler ones me and my housemate in particular tend to overcomplicate everything because we're sort of going for some reason we find we seem to find the harder ones easier because they are expecting more whereas we're sort of like overcomplicating everything but i actually managed to sort of not do that this time and so we went through this at a fair click um i will say that i thought that one or two there was a couple of the puzzles and without spoiling them at all i thought that they were a bit fiddly i didn't think that they necessarily worked it was an interesting way of doing it but i thought that they were a little bit fiddly and didn't necessarily work brilliantly but at the same time they're things that i've not seen before so that's kind of interesting um, I don't think there was any puzzle in this that sort of blew me away. And like I say, all of them felt fairly straightforward to solve. Um, so, yeah, I mean, in terms of the um, the exit games, I think this is one that would definitely be better with families. It's sort of more aimed at the younger end or the more casual gamers, more casual puzzlers, maybe. Uh, I think that... Um, it's not going to stop me playing this. I'm going to play every single one of them, even depending on what the rating is, because I enjoy them so much. And yes, they are disposable. You know, you can't reset them, but I enjoy them and I get a real good laugh at for, you know, an hour and a half, two hours. I get a lot of enjoyment out of them. And so, I'm like I say, I'm not going to stop playing these games. But this is definitely on the lighter end of the scale. Um, and like I say, nothing particularly blew me away, which is why I'm not doing a spoiler version. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't really got more to say. I enjoyed it. Um, the Curse Labyrinth, uh, a good one for families. And uh, yeah, with that, if you enjoy the Exit Games, you know what you're getting. It's sort of a little bit of more of the same. Um, but yeah, an enjoyable one. Maybe one that I'll personally sort of, you know, fall down to the lower half. But I don't. But there's still not any that I haven't enjoyed, and that uh, says something, given that there's so many of them. So, uh, exit, curse the labyrinth, and until next time, take care, and bye bye.